It's Easter Sunday and we are at the homestead at Kowalski Mountain. And just because we're here doesn't mean we're not going to have a special Easter dinner. Now I know you're watching this after the fact, but I'm going to show you what we're having for Easter here at the homestead. Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain. Welcome back to our channel. Now today is Easter Sunday and I still want to make a nice dinner for the family. We are here on our spring vacation with Jess, Eric, Weston, and Hunter and we're going to enjoy a very special prime rib dinner cooked in the Dutch oven. So I'm going to bring you along while I make dinner. Now other than the cake, I'm planning to cook it over the fire today. So the cake I'm going to make here, it's about lunchtime now. I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, pineapple upside down cake that we're going to have for supper. So come along while I make it. get this charcoal started for the Dutch oven. recipe on my blog about how to make prime rib in the Dutch oven and it comes with a full video instructions so uh, if you want to check out how to do this at home uh, be sure to check out that blog post on KowalskiMountain.com and also on our YouTube channel. Let's get this prime rib started.
Now while the prime rib is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and prep the rest. Now I didn't feel like I had enough carrots at home, so I bought some regular. Uh, so I bought some more, and I just brought the pre-cut kind for the extra, because it's easy. Now something that I am doing different today, which I'm kind of disappointed about, is that in that other video that I referenced earlier, um, I use my digital thermometer to monitor my meat. And I looked for it before we left Kentucky and I couldn't find it anywhere. And so I decided it must be up here. So I left home without it and I got here and I can't find it here either. So. I don't know where it is. And unfortunately that means I don't have the digital thermometer that's monitoring the temperature of the meat the entire time. So I am gonna have to open the lid and check my doneness. I did put a thermometer in it so that I can monitor it. Um, I'm kind of disappointed about that because the digital thermometer makes it super easy and makes this no guesswork. Um, but we're gonna do the best we can. It will be fine. Now I looked over here and my coals look pretty burnt up. So I'm gonna add a couple more of windy today so that's probably why Well, I have a little confession to make. I'm not the best fire starter, so I'm gonna try. Well, I told you I was a terrible fire starter, but we do have fire, so finally.
We're about an hour and a half in. And I have no idea how the meat's doing because I don't have a thermometer. I got my fire going for my potatoes and my carrots, although my grate is kind of low. I wish it was higher. I really need him to give me a better outdoor cook set on the list. Now I really hate opening this, but I really need to know how the meat is doing. So I'm gonna open it and peek super quick. <laughs> that thermometer has not moved one bit. I don't know if I have another thermometer. I have an InstaRead thermometer, which I can't leave in there, but I can at least check the temperature. So let's, let's check it out. Not quite a hundred, so it's got to keep going. Probably started those carrots way too early. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek again. Okay, so we're at 120 degrees, we have about 10 more degrees to go. So did you see it? Mm -hmm. Looks a little looks good. Looks a little hot on the top, but it's getting too much heat right here in the middle. But it's getting there. 
timer. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't turn the lid. I need to do that again. Yeah. took my fork in and I had to kind of wing that. Now the top is done a little bit more than I really want. It's a little crusty there. But I bet it's going to be delicious. Now this has to rest uh, for a little while before we cut it. So I'm going to take it in the house so it can do that. on the top so it was a little hot on the top but we'll see how it is We're gonna go enjoy this while it's hot. Well, friends, I'm gonna head into the house and finish up this gravy, um, get some heat under it to make it go a little bit faster. Thank you so much for joining us on this holiday. And no matter where you are for the holidays, whether you're camping or out at your hunting camp or whatever type of outdoor activity that you're doing, you can still enjoy a special meal for the holidays. It takes a little bit of creativity, and some patience to cook outdoors, but it's completely worth it. And thank you so much for watching our channel. We so appreciate it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that button. We'll see you next time.